Hi, and welcome to another episode of NotYourDad'sBeer.com. Today, I'm joined by Jay Orr, a uh, home brewer. What, is there a title you'd like? That's good. That's good. Home brewer <laughs> and a uh, beer chick <laughs> of really great beer. And she's a huge Dogfish fan, so uh, I've been saving this for a while for her. We're doing a Pangea. It's a ginger beer by Dogfish. It should be really cool. Comes out in the fall. A little bit about Pangea. So the idea behind it is different ingredients from all over the world to make a really outstanding beer. It comes in 750 milliliter. Um, give you an idea, crystal ginger is going to come from Australia while the water is actually cracked open from an iceberg in Antarctica by a government facility, blended down and shipped to Delaware. Where else do we have stuff from? Um, from Asia, we've got basmati rice, and also from South America, we've got quinoa. It's fantastic. The yeast is going to come from Europe, and then we're using North American maize or corn to kind of blend it, blend it out, add a little creaminess, I'd imagine, to the whole deal. So you got stuff from all over to make a really cool ginger beer. Uh, we're going to crack it open, see what it tastes like. Awesome. Awesome. Excited. Love that sound. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, pretty color. Everything Dogfish does is pretty much phenomenal. Um, they are known as one of the few brewers in the entire world that really focuses on using herbs and spices and other things to really accentuate their beer rather than just sticking with malts and hops and trying to make the hoppiest beer or the most malty beer. They just really mess, mess around with cool stuff. Um, yeah, so your favorite beer, why don't we talk about it? Uh, I'm getting color right off the bat. A really, really nice, like a, like a almost a pumpkin orange, would you say? A little orange, a little golden color. A little gold too, with the hues. Sunrise, <laughs> perfect. Uh, nice little soapy bubbles on top. Head seems to thick. You can tell it's a little malty. Um, so we'll just smell off of it. Definitely get that ginger right off the bat. Yep. Sweet and clean. Yeah. Wow, really refreshing smelling. Very, yeah, light effervescent. Cool. Let's see what it tastes like, yeah? Wow. It's really good. That's awesome. I'll be the first to say, I don't like ginger beer at all. <laughs> this is nice. Uh, it's really malty, which balances yeah. out that super huge ginger. It's not more like a, a little hop so malt pale ale with ginger added to it. No. It's really balanced. Not. Definitely has a kind of creamy. Creamy? Yeah. It is. I wonder if that's from the maze. Mm, probably. So it's really clean and refreshing. Over. Yeah, it's yeah, not too not overpowering. Not too overpowering in any way at all. It's really nice. Um, the malts are really big on it, um, but they're not sweet. The ginger is really, really packing a punch with the crystallized ginger. Um, it's in, I'm, I'm very clean. curious how much the water did for the beer, being from Antarctica. Really I don't clean. know. It's really clean. Really clean. It's really refreshing. Um, I don't know if I could drink this in 70, 80 degree weather because of how thick it is, but in the fall time. Definitely would go with a lot of maybe some sweet potatoes. Absolutely. <laughs> sweet potatoes, what else would you pair with? Um, I guess you could do the roasted vegetables. A um, little bit of garlic and onion might be nice. There you go. Roasted vegetables, root, root vegetable. Root vegetable, okay. Um, meat wise, um, hmm. But ginger might stand up some game meat of some sort. I yeah. can see that too. It might cook really well with duck. Yeah. So if you're like out, that with the duck would be great. That with the, yeah, exactly. So if you're out and you're grilling, you got a whole bunch of vegetables in your garden. You're gonna grill some stuff up, uh, root vegetables for sure. This is actually probably hold up the duck. Uh, the ginger's gonna really cleanse that palate for you as you go through. You can see, you know, sushi style food as well. Mm -hmm. And a sip of this will just instantly cleanse the palate and get you ready for your next bite. Um, this is, I would think, be a really good beer for most salads, lighter food for sure, fish, sushi. It's really tasty. Kind of a nice like manchego or something would go well with it too. There you go, manchego. This is awesome. <laughs> really good. So this I is like cool. This a lot. What is the ABB on this thing? Seven percent. Seven percent. Um, as you know, Dogfish doesn't make light beer. Uh, <laughs> not that seven percent is overwhelming, but it's definitely one okay. bottle of this, and you're feeling perfect, ready for the day, uh, which I like. I mean, how could you not, yeah. right? This is a really fantastic beer. You can pick it up in fall. Uh, the bottle itself is going to run about ten bucks. Nothing overwhelming. Seven fifty. It's meant to be shared. Um, this is one of their seasonal releases. It's really, really cool. Anything they make is great. Um, this is one of the ones because it's a ginger beer. It stays on the shelf a little bit longer because a lot of people don't learn not big on the ginger beer. It happens. Uh, their other stuff flies off the shelf. So pick up a bottle of this. This has been sitting in my fridge now for I don't know four or five months or so. Still tastes great. Get a little age on it. Not the bad. It's good to go. 
Oh, well, Jay, thanks for joining us. Thank you very much. Absolutely. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you for joining us, guys. We'll see you next time. That's really good. I like that a lot. <laughs> I'm like, what? There's so much going on. I don't know what to pick out. Like, I'm like, <laughs> this is not your dad's beer.